Hi there, this is David and welcome back to Elizabeth Lived Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Today, we are headed off into Moon Door 1, because last time, we got Agate. So, yeah, the first time whenever we went through this door, we needed Tita. Now we need Tita and Agate to um, finish this door. Also, last time, we um, completed, what was it, Star Door number 2, I believe? Yeah, 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 number 2. Where you had to fight 100 battles and you learned about the salt pail. That was pretty cool. I liked that. It was more of like um like a newspaper or magazine format or like a like reading a report, I guess. Um, but yeah, it was interesting to learn about that. It's only been something that we've heard about. It was just like the North North Ambrian disaster, but we never really knew exactly what went on. But that was kind of nice to see all that. Oh, looks like Agate's sort of. Uh, arriving in Zeiss just in time for dinner. Yeah, when we last let off, they were, um, or Tita's family was finishing up the Orbal gear, and, uh, then Tita kind of let loose the news that Agate was coming to dinner, and Erica and Dan, her parents, didn't seem too happy about this. So, yeah, we'll see what's going on here. Oh. Once a month? Every month? Oh, yeah, I can kind of understand that if you're really busy, but it's, it's not like you have any other family or anything. I mean, isn't your sister dead? I'm pretty sure. I'm almost positive she is. Whoa! What's going on? What is it? Oh. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing, Agate. Think nothing of it. Oh, probably. Unless there's somebody here with evil, murderous intent. Machine guns, wow. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, okay. Erica has pretty eyes. They're not just, like, blue. They're, like, this really pretty sky blue. I like them. Oh, well, great. Yeah, Tita's pretty damn good. You know, you, sh you really should give her more credit. Just because she's young doesn't mean that she isn't good at her job. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, something tells me uh, she's going to be testing the Orbal gear out on poor Agate. Well, what's going on? What's up, Tita? Oh, okay. What? Red-haired hooligan. <laughs> That's hysterical. Oh, wow. Um, she's kind of evil. <laughs> yeah, seriously, Agate's like a really good person. He saved the world, not once, but twice. Well, saved liberal, but same thing. It's a JRPG, whatever. Save the world, sure. Um, he's not trying to worm his way here in the first place. She invited him to dinner. He doesn't even want to come to this dinner. I mean, come on. Oh, yeah, um, he's kind of gruff. Yeah, but he is good. He's nice. Better than Zen. Zen's just boring. Really? Seriously? Yeah, why? Come on now. Oh. Well, what's that? Oh. Yikes! Holy shit! Um, she's kind of crazy. Just a little bit, just a tad crazy. <laughs> Whoa! Wow, um, he's old and he's your father. Like, um, you really should be more careful? Yeah, no kidding. Um, she's trying to, um, you know, murder someone. Yeah, she's in a rush. <laughs> Something tells me Professor Russell knows exactly what's going on here. Oh, poor Agate. I feel bad for him. He has no clue what he's about to get himself into. What are you looking for? Oh. Oh, yeah, you're looking for your mother. That's right. Hmm. Well, you know that she's looking for Agate, and you know that Agate just landed. So, maybe you go to the landing port? Or go to the Bracer Guild. That works out, too. 
Yeah, you know, another day, another dollar. Might as well stop on in, see if they have any work. Couldn't hurt. Whoa! Holy shit. This girl's creepy as hell. Um, kinda, sorta, maybe, Agate. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Shrug it off. It's fine. Um, yeah. Really? And who are you? Wow. Wow, she doesn't hold anything back now, does she? She's like, I'm going to execute you. I'm going to kill you. My plan is to murder you. And I have a perfect place for you to die. It's wonderful. Come along now. Come to your death. Like, seriously? Who says this stuff? Oh. And I like how Kiliko's just standing there like, um, oh, it's fine, yeah. This woman here, she just wants to kill you. Nothing wrong about that at all. <laughs> really, lady? Really? Whoa. He hasn't done anything! Like, get it through your skull! Come on! No kidding. Wow. She's a bitch. <laughs> Okay. Oh. Um, so if he defeats the Orbal Gear, it doesn't matter if he had sex with Tita? Is that pretty much what you're getting at here? Like, she she's pretty much saying, like, yeah, it'll wash away all your sins as, as, as long as you beat it. But he doesn't have any sins. He never did anything with Tita. So, like, deal with it, lady. Freaking deal with it. Oh. Um, you are kind of scary, just a little tiny bit, yeah. Oh. Hmm. I don't know. Oh. Really? Seriously? There's nothing to punish him for! What is her problem? Man! For someone who is supposedly really smart, she doesn't exactly listen. You know, the first step in learning something is admitting that you know nothing about it and actually, you know, opening up your ears, opening up your mind, and trying to absorb the information, trying to actually be receptive and open to learning. Word up hearing her sugar powder donut. <laughs> Cute! Hoodlum. <laughs> Whoa! I wonder if Erica actually said whoosh, zoom, as she ran away, or if it was just, you know, onomatopoeia right there. <laughs> That's cute. Oh. Hey, Kilka. Nice of you to chime in as this woman's, like, you know, trying to kill me. Yeah. You, you know, you could have said something earlier. Uh, yeah. Um, no? Yeah. Oh, so I guess Agate didn't even know that Tita's parents would be here. Whenever he, you know, said that he'd come, you know, last Friday, whatever, I guess she never wrote him a letter or, you know, sent a carrier pigeon or whatever she has to do in this game. I guess she could call him the horrible telephone, but then again, he is a bracer. But, you know, every bracer office does have a telephone, so she could call one of the five and then just kind of leave a message. And if he comes in, you know, say, hey, you know, my parents are in town. You might want to watch out because um, they're a little bit crazy. So yeah, this is the real deal. You gotta do it. Hurry up. Oh. oh, well, that sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Wait, you need to test out a new weapon? What could possibly go wrong? Well, yeah. You know, you really couldn't keep Tita away from developing a new weapon or really, you know, Inventing anything. She's pretty gifted. Well, you met her mother. <laughs> uh, no kidding. She's just a tad touched. Oh. Are you not going to do it? Oh, okay. So you are going to do it. I see. You're just not going to let anybody else do it. Ooh. Okay, well, where are you gonna head to? I'm gonna imagine he's gonna head off to the factory, but 
I'm gonna head back inside and go exploring and go talk to people. Why not? Of course, what you gotta do. It's a JRPG after all, and a Legend of Heroes game. It's like, that's the whole meat and potatoes of the whole freaking game is talking to people. Ooh, okay, hey there. Well, what's up? Yeah, kind of, but you know, then again, I gotta talk to people. Oh, that's right. Okay, so this must be happening after um, Zin's door, whenever we heard that she was going to be um, heading off to Calvard and all that. Oh. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. Um, yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, it was an accident. Come on now. Anything else to say? Sure, what's up? Oh, we will. Does he? Yeah, he was just saying how busy he was whenever he landed off that airship. Oh, with them? Don't you mean him or her? Are there two people going to secede her? Eh, who knows. Let's head on over here. Oh, hey, it's Wong. Wong is um, just kind of a random NPC bracer who hangs out here along with Gundolf and he's a pretty good friend with uh, Agate there, so yeah, kind of nice to see him again. Oh, is Erica putting in a lot more quests and stuff? It's kind of creepy. Oh, really? Really? You don't say. So Dan was a former bracer and he doesn't know anything about Agate? Really? Seriously? You know what? One thing I'm gonna do it might make me, um, like a little bit better as far as moving this map around. Put this into free rotation. I'm gonna start all the way down south, and then I'm gonna explore the city, um, going and moving up north. So, let's start on over here. By the way, this house right here, it's completely empty. This is Tita's house. So yeah, nothing really to see here. There's nothing to examine. Um, nobody's around, so don't worry about it, but I figured I'd show it just because. Hey there. Oh. Um, okay. Are you a researcher too? I imagine so. Probably work over at that factory. I would imagine a lot of people in this town would work over at that factory. Huh. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's see. Head on in here. Little bar. Hey there. Oh. Oh, well, that's good. Oh, well, he is the owner. That's his prerogative. Oh, I guess that's that girl next door. I guess she's not a researcher. She was wearing a researcher coat, though, so I don't know. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'd probably rather have to be on my feet and actually, like, doing something as far as work is concerned, rather than, you know, sitting in front of a computer or something all day. That would be, like, boring as anything. Oh, yeah. They're kind of a gruesome duo there. <laughs> Got disaster written all over it. No kidding. Uh, let's see. Still need to go south. Like, I get really disoriented with this stupid camera moving all over the place. It drives me nuts. Uh, let's go in here. Hey there. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Um, but that wasn't your fault. That was kind of the horrible shutdown phenomenon. You know, just something that happened all around the entirety of Liberal. And it was also kind of our fault, too. But sure, hey, whatever. <laughs> oh, okay, so it looks like some maid went and bought um, a whole bunch of lamps or something. Oh, really? From Calvert, huh? Oh. Well, yeah, I hope not. Let's go over and talk to this Emma chick. Where is she? I kind of think that she's in this room. Yeah, there she is. Oh, are you, like, scared of the dark or something? Wow. Um, okay. They must pay you a lot for a maid in order to buy every single lamp you could possibly get your hands on. That's kind of crazy, don't you think? Are they stealing? Whoa, these two are like totally trying to steal these apples. Well, holy shit. Oh, 
Yeah, um, I don't think that you guys should be doing this. It's kind of an awful thing to do. Oh. Okay. I'm sure it'll be a hit. Well, let's go on and talk to your little business partner over here. Oh, yeah, um, Tita's actually, you know, trying to create an orbital gear and stuff. She doesn't have time to play with you. She's bonded with her family. Her mother and father are here for the first time in years. And you're selfishly wanting her to play with you? Screw you, stupid JRPG kid. I hate kids and JRPGs. Like, every time I see them, I just freaking hate them. Oh, I can't stand them. Okay, let's see. Where are we at now? Again, I'm disoriented. Let's see, that's the guild. I went through here. Have I gone into this house down here? I'm like, this is so disorienting. I hate this stupid map. Oh. Oh. Okay. Stain? His name is Stain? Seriously? Oh. Oh. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Oh, hey, it's Gundolf! Hey, how are you doing? Yeah, last time we saw him was back in uh, Shara's door. Actually, it wasn't that long ago. Like, what was that, like two or three videos ago? Something like that. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, Stella and Joshua are gone. That's right, Kilika's losing, going away too. But she was just a receptionist. Oh. Do you? Huh. Maybe Tita can help you out or something. Oh, really? Was it? Huh. That's kind of cool. I don't remember if we ever learned that in, um in a um, first or second chapter. But yeah, I guess Cassius scattered Agate way back when. Who knew? We probably learned it in first chapter, but it's been so long since I played first chapter. I really need to play it again, to be quite honest. Okay, so let's see. I've gone down that way. I need to be heading north. So I don't know why the camera always spins around every single freaking time I enter and exit a house. It's driving me nuts. Well, that's good. Yeah, definitely. Ken goes out of town a lot, and I really, really hate it. Because I have nothing to do whenever Ken's not here, but whenever he is in town, it's like I, I, I feel more of a sense of purpose as far as, you know, the cooking and the cleaning and all that other kind of stuff that I do is concerned. Um, but, you know, whenever he's not here, I pretty much just make videos all day long. So then whenever he is here, I'm able to just kind of, you know, focus on him and, you know, cooking and cleaning and whatever else it is that I need to do, the shopping, the errands, all that kind of good stuff. Um, and then I just have, like, a little backlog of videos, but it's only, only like, three or four days of a backlog. Oh, this is that Stain guy. Oh. Huh. Oh, really? Huh. Ken's an engineer, too. Yeah, anyway, let's uh, go on up out here. Hey there, lady. Oh, Minoria Village is Agate's hometown. Oh, that's kind of nice. Oh, huh. I'm surprised that Agate doesn't have anything to say um, about this, you know, considering he's from there. What domestic situation? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. This little kid's talking about Reconcil on his deathbed? What little kid talks about their deathbed? Like, seriously? Oh, uh, yeah. No kidding, she's kind of crazy. She wanted to be a nun? Seriously? <laughs> Father Vixen. Really? His name is Father Vixen? Like, come on now. It's kind of odd. Whoa! A, a wannabe nun launched a flying kick at you? This bitch is cray cray, like for real. Oh. Oh. Maybe you should kind of kick them out of your factory if you don't like them this much. Oh, really? Huh. 
I wonder who it could possibly be. Are you talking about Kilika? I imagine you are. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, hey there. Yeah. Okay, so she's going to Calvard. Yeah, that's right. I always get Calvard and Crossbow mixed up. I, I and, and if I said Crossbow earlier, I'm sorry. It is what it is. I get them mixed up. You know, it, it's, it's kind of like when if you're watching a movie and there's like two blondes in the movie, the entire time I will not know either of their names. Like, I, I need a brunette, a redhead, and a blonde. There you go. Like, otherwise I'm just done. Like, I, I, I can't keep them in my... straight in my head. And it's the same thing here. They both start with C. Like, how am I supposed to keep that straight in my head? They both start with C. I'm a fucking moron. <laughs> Like, I seriously, like, I can't keep them straight just because of something as stupid as that. It's kind of crazy. People raining down from the skies. Oh. I imagine she's talking about Tita's parents coming down on those little warble landing ship things that they had. Oh. Okay. Oh. Huh. Okay. Well, we can actually also go inside the landing port here, too, and talk to some other people. Hey there. Oh, why? Last Friday of the month? Busy for what? Like, getting out of town or something? Um, I don't really know what- <gasps> I know what he's talking about! Oh my god, that, like, just came to me. He's basically insinuating that because it's the last Friday of the month, he's coming here to visit Tita, and he's gonna get busy with Tita, if you catch my drift. What the hell? Holy crap! Like, who jokes about this stuff? Agate's like in his mid-twenties and Tita's like twelve! Like, oh my god! Like, this isn't normal to joke about this kind of stuff. Ugh! Uh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, well, um, you pulled that cube out of the lake earlier. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Kilika told you that, didn't she? Huh. Maybe. I don't know if I'd want Erica to get drunk, though. She's crazy enough as it is sober. And how much worse would she be if she was drunk? Huh. Okay. Really? What are you going to be doing there? Hmm. I wonder... Yeah. So, after this scene, they're going to be going off to Valeria Lake and pulling up that cube. And next time, let's play the Lindy Heroes Trails in the Sky of the Third. I'm going to be heading off into Zeiss Central Factory. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.